In this video, we're going to see how we can set up a custom domain with our GitHub pages. So there are four very simple steps to take your project from localhost to a custom domain hosted on GitHub pages. Let's get started. Hey, but there's more. I have got a few surprises for some of the people here. So if you want to be that one lucky winner, stick to the end of the video to find out what I'm talking about. All right, the first and very important step is obviously you need to have a domain name for your GitHub project. Now, this video is sponsored by .tech domains. And if you register a .tech domain using this link, you're gonna get 95% off on your first time registration. Just follow the link go.tech slash codedam. It's going to take you here. And here we can search for whatever domain we like. For example, in this video, I'm going to make use of data meets .tech. That is data meets .tech. But since it's already registered for me, that is, I have registered that domain myself. So I'm going to go with data meets too, just to show you, just search for any domain you like, and it gonna, it's going to show you that, right? That's pretty much it. Just add it to your cart and proceed forward. One user. Yep you can proceed and here you can customize all these links you can disable if you want i guess privacy protection is yep that's everything is fine just go ahead and write code dam here in the coupon code and hit apply once you do that you're gonna see that you get a 95 percent off on your current plan that is your price drops from 3473 rupees to just 347 that is only if you use code damn coupon code once you do that place your order create an account it's free just create it and you're gonna pretty much get started with the domain part all right once you have purchased the domain your second step is to set up your github repository correctly in order to it to be fetched on your github domain now i have a very quick video on that you can check the link in the description to know how to set it up and it's under five minutes once you do that come back resume this video and we're going to proceed step three involves using custom domain as a whole so what you need to do is once you have your github pages branch or anything which you have used to set up your github pages you want to go to your repository settings and down here you should see something like your site is published at this particular domain right <clears throat> but what you want to do is you want to have an actual custom domain if you see here it works right on an online domain but what we want is a custom domain with our github pages so my custom domain for my case is data meets dot tech d e c h and save it so once I do that, what we're going to see is GitHub redirects us to some instructions we need to follow. All right. So when we, once we could see that we have saved this, it says us that domain does not resolve to GitHub pages server. So what we need to do now is pretty much just customize the DNS of this domain, the domain name system of this domain to point to GitHub. And from that point onwards, GitHub is going to take care of what should be displayed. So if we go to the help guide here, we could pretty much see a lot of links here. But what we, what we want to do is set up GitHub pages. All right. So the fourth and the final step is actually configuring our DNS records so that GitHub pages work correctly with our account. So what you want to do is get back to get.tech where you bought your domain and just go to your account right here which is going to take you to a cPanel kind of interface where you would be able to edit your DNS entries. So essentially what we want there is just to point the DNS A records for this particular domain to GitHub so that whenever somebody types data meets .tech, internally this .tech knows that this is handled by GitHub pages. So it basically internally lets GitHub handle that particular thing. So here I'm going to go to manage orders list or search orders where we could see that we have a pending data meets .tech domain i'm just going to click on this and would be able to get a bunch of options in which we have to precisely go with the option saying name servers right 
are not actually name servers. We need DNS management, not name servers, because we're going to use internal DNS management for this dot tech. You're going to make use of name servers if you are, if you want to manage your DNS from another site. So I'm going to click on that, that link, which you just saw, and we're going to add an A record right here. You can see. So once we go ahead and add an A record, what we need to do is go to this domain, which is help.github.com. Again, link is in the description and we're going to see a bunch of IP addresses. So these are the records you want to add. So I'm going to quickly add them right here. Just paste them and just keep it blank and just click on add record. Do it for all the IP addresses. All right, so once you have done, um, you're pretty much, that's it, right? right? So now what happens, DNS propagation takes some time for the caching and everything to expire. But if you're lucky, you're gonna get responses directly in 30 seconds to one minute. So I'm gonna wait a little here and let my DNS propagate. All right, so just after some time, you should be able to see that you get all of your records back right here as A records. So once you see something like this, what you need to do is just go ahead and go to your domain now, datameets.tech. Tech, there you go. Once you go that, you're gonna see that it reflects right, just like your GitHub page. And what you could do next is pretty much just refresh your settings right here inside your GitHub pages. And what you should be able to see is now you have um, your page right here and you could pretty much enable HTTPS as well because uh, it's not working right now because it's a new domain. And as you can see, the error message says not yet available for your site because the certificate has not been finished being issued. So this would be available within 24 hours. So you can wait for that or you can just access your domain with without HTTPS at the moment. So you see it works pretty far uh, so good. And yeah, that's pretty much it, how you would host a domain like this. And I would like to thank .tech domains for sponsoring this video. Again, just buy a domain from .tech using the link in the description to get 95% off on your first domain. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one. All right, so here's the gift time. So I'm gonna give away one free .tech domain. And if you want to be that one person, you have to comment below and tell me why you want a .tech domain. And remember, your reason should be valid. Why you want a .tech domain? Why should I give it? I give this domain to you? And within your comment, leave your GitHub handle. That is your GitHub username in order to me to check. So yeah, go ahead, like the video, comment on this why you want it and share the video with your friends. Once you do that, I'm going to verify, cross verify everything and pick up a one random winner, depending on their particular reason why they want it. Not really random, but yeah, you get the point. So yeah, that's all for this one and I'll see you then in some other video.